Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another quick flutter tutorial. In this one, we have a little bit of a different video, but it's just a cool animation that you can make using flutter. I love seeing what flutter is capable of doing. And with the help of some really basic code and animation, we can make something sick like this. So let me show you how to do this by jumping into the code. This tutorial is sponsored by Rotato. Now I get a lot of questions about how I show off my apps in a cool way in my intros. And it's through the help of a software called Rotato. They have pretty much every device you can think of to use as a mock-up and my favorite part is the ability to control the motion to make it swivel and rotate in any way you can imagine. I really love Rotato and so if you use the code Mitch at the checkout you can get a little 20% discount. I'll link it below. So thanks Rotato for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the tutorial. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project and just to keep everyone on the same page in my main function I'm running my app which brings us to this home page. And this is just a stateful widget returning a blank scaffold. Now, anytime we do anything with animations, we have to add this with ticker provider state mixing. And there are three sort of animation controllers that we're going to use. So the first one, let's just call it controller. And I want to also change two aspects of some containers that we're gonna use. So the first one is the rotating animation. And the second one is the radius, the border radius animation. So I'll show you how to do these. So in the initial state, let's make a bit of a plan of what we're about to do. So I'm just gonna comment here. The first thing is just to initialize the animation controller. And then the second thing is to control the rotation. And the third is to control the radius. So what this radius one will do is basically turn it from a circle to a square and back and forth. So for the controller, let's give it the animation controller. And for the duration, I'm just gonna say two seconds, but obviously you can change this to whatever duration you want. And let's move it forward. Now for the rotation animation, we're going to use a tween, which basically is we have to specify a begin and an end. So for the begin, let's go with zero. I'm gonna say 0, 0.0 because it needs to be a double. And for the end, let's go 1.0. So between one and zero. And let's animate this. And the parent is going to be the curved animation. And let's give it our controller. and the type of curve, so you can actually control, you can see there's a lot of options. I'm just gonna go with ease in out. Now let's move on to the radius. So for the beginning, I wanna change it from 450 to one. So this is the number for how sharp you want the corners to be. So I'll show you a bit later on about what this is doing. And then let's add the listener for the controller. And we want to make it go back and forth. So if the animation status is completed, then let's go back reversed. And then if it's dismissed, then let's go forward. So this will just move it back and forth. Cool, now moving into our scaffold. Now the background color, I'm just gonna choose a deep purple color. And in the middle, let's create a stack. So I wanna stack multiple containers on top of each other. So let's have the biggest one on the top. And then the second biggest, and then the third biggest, and then it'll get slowly smaller and smaller. So we can add more later, but let's just fill this out. So for the first one, I'm just gonna say, let's have a container of width and height 225. And for the decoration, let's just make it a different, a darker purple. Cool. Now you can see this is a very sharp square. So if you look at this border radius, if I say like 24, you can see the corners become a bit more curved, right? And if I make this number really big, like 100, it'll pretty much almost become a circle. So this is what we're controlling with our radius animation value. And you can see it's already animated, so it's going back and forth. Cool. 
Cool, now let's also make it rotate a little bit. So let's wrap this in a transform.rotate widget. And the angle, let's give it our rotation animation value. So you can see it's changing the radius, but also rotating while it's doing that. Cool, so we can decorate this up a little bit more later on. But let's just copy this and create another one below it. And for the rotation animation value, I'm just going to add a 0 0.2. So this will just rotate it a little bit more than the top object. And let's also make the container a little bit smaller. And of course, let's change up the color so we can see the difference. Cool, so you can see there it is. Now I just realized in the stack, let's align everything to be in the middle, in the center. Yep, there we go. Cool, so we can of course change the colors around. Okay, so let's just make one more. And again, for this one, I want to add another 0 0.2. So let's make a 0 0.4 to the angle. And let's switch up the container size. So let's move everything down by 50s. And change the color. Cool, so we get this nice little animation effect. So on a very basic level, this is how we can make this animation work. And you can create another one and you can go smaller and smaller. Cool, I actually found this on Instagram through a viewer of these tutorials and I'll link his profile in his GitHub below so you guys can check the more detailed code. But if you add a little bit of box shadow and you can change up the colors a little bit more, he made it really cool and this is essentially if you add, stack a bunch of these together, this is what it looks like. So shout out to Charlie Caleb for making such cool animations with Flutter. You know, stuff like this, it's for me personally, I just find it really cool that you can do this and it looks really, really sick. His name is Charles. I'll link his GitHub and Instagram below. And if anyone else has made any cool things, even if it's like a little animation like this and you tag me in it and I find it cool, then I can help get your name out there and boost up your profile and stuff like that. So with that being said, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And that's it for today. Just a nice little short video for today. So let me know if you have any questions below. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.